This is an Australian Living Labs Innovation Network presentation. Our mission is to promote Living Labs in Australia, develop the practitioner base, and foster collaboration opportunities with Living Labs everywhere. Today we're talking with Professor Lars Cohen, who's at the University of Melbourne and is also the inaugural City of Melbourne Chair of Resilient Cities. And with Professor Annika Kronsel, who is visiting from Lund University and is a political scientist. We'll be discussing their project, Governance of Urban Sustainability Transitions, which investigated 50 urban living labs in Europe. Um, I'm uh... A political scientist, a professor at Lund University in Sweden, and I'm involved in a project that looks at urban living labs uh, across Europe. Uh, we have uh, four partners from four countries in Europe, and we we are a multidisciplinary uh, team that's been working on this. Well, we're finishing up in uh, September, so we have a lot of. Um, urban living lab that we've studied and we're, we're trying to draw out uh, knowledge from these urban living labs that we have either as snapshots or case studies. Wonderful. Well. Yeah, yeah, well my name is Lars Kuhn and I used to be a professor in Lund University and used to also work in the same project as Hanika and I'm still sort of involved in collaborating with them. I'm currently the uh, City of Melbourne Chair of uh, Resilient Cities here at the University of Melbourne, working at uh, the Melbourne Sustainable Society Institute. Um, and uh, only started uh, four weeks ago, so still rather fresh. But I have a, really an interest in, um, in, in innovation processes and how innovation processes can deal with uh, global big societal challenges like climate change, aging societies, um, health issues and um, what the role is of, of, of cities and, and urban contexts in, in those kind of innovation processes and I find urban living labs uh, and living labs a particularly interesting methodology to bring about those kinds of innovations. Wonderful, well Annika Lars, thank you again. Um, so I guess first, the first question is what, what is a living lab? What makes, what makes a, what is it, the attributes of a living lab? Uh -huh. <laughs> should, yeah. I, should I start? Sure, go ahead. Well, um, uh, we have actually defined it in our project and, and I just read here that uh, what we say is that urban living labs are sites devised to design, test and learn from social and technical innovation in real time. So it's kind of a form of experimentation, a laboratory, um, demonstration, a trial. Uh, we can use all those words but it's somehow I feel uh, something that's outside the regular governance. So if you have governance structures, this kind of, um, for me as a political scientist, I'm interested in governance and I see this that this is a maybe a, a, a different form of govern, governance, uh, an alternative form, a complementary form of governance to use these sites for innovation, experimentation. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, I'd, uh, first of all I would like to sort of raise the point that I think there's a lot of confusion about what a living lab is. I mean there are a lot of different definitions out there and some are running the risk of basically presenting old wine in new bottles, sort of you know, saying that we're doing a living lab and essentially it's just you know, doing applied research, yeah. doing research in practice and calling that nowadays a living lab because it's fashionable. So I think there's a risk there that the term could get easily inflated, um, which I think is unfortunate because there's a lot of sort of there is a lot of novelty in the concept in the methodology, as Annika was saying. It is about an experimentation. It is about uh, new ways of governing innovation. Um, so I think what really sort of our defining elements is that it's about co-creation uh, across different stakeholders in the innovation process, so not just let the researchers say what the research question is, but actually involve stakeholders, so civic society, local governments, uh, industry and business in, in sort of the question what, you know, what are we researching here, what are the research questions, what are the aims, and also involving those stakeholders then in the design of, um, yeah, of the innovation, uh, of the you know, the, the, the new product, the new service that, that you're trialing. Um, and I think that do, these are sort of essential um, characteristics of a living lab. And otherwise you don't call it a living lab. 